Hey guys, it's me, David, and welcome back to week nine of Building Crate. All right, guys, so this week we're actually going to be working surprisingly on the mountain. I'm actually very, very excited to show you what I've been kind of thinking up in my head of how I want that side mountain on each side of that uh, giant wall that we're, we're making, what that's gonna look like. And that's what you're gonna kind of see the start of today. I'm not gonna build a whole lot, but definitely enough that I think a lot of you will be satisfied with what I build. Um, I, at least I hope so. Um, we're also gonna work on the back side, not severely, but we're gonna clean up what was back there and we're gonna reorganize and build some things so that way we continue working around the mock, just not on the on the front side of the mock where we've kind of been focusing on lately. Um, we're also gonna, at the end, we're actually, I, I told you guys we're gonna do different, a lot of you for some reason want different of those uh, triangular pieces. Um, we're gonna be doing that, so you guys will be able to vote for that, that'll be exciting. And then I think that's pretty much it. So a pretty interesting segment. I, I definitely think the rock work and the mountain part will definitely be everybody's favorite. So I'm gonna stop talking and let you guys uh, take a look at what I've been working on this week. So let's go. Okay guys, so coming back right where I said we would leave off at and pick up on right here, we're gonna fill in this space as well as over here. We're gonna fill in all of that. I've got the plates right here. They're all dry and ready to be used. They're all shiny from the cleaning from the last week's segment. And you know, here's some uh, more plates as well. There's plenty more than just this. Um, they're over there. Um, and then also I have all of this uh, colored brand new Lego. It's nice and shiny as you can kind of see here. So that's nice. This is what I'm gonna be using to uh, support these, I suppose. Um, in terms of Bricklink orders over the last week, I got another bag of uh, slope pieces. Not enough to really make a big uh, dent on the wall, so we're not gonna probably do anything with the wall this segment. Um, I did, however, get these. Th these right here are very important because they are what, <laughs> this, this, these things are what's going to connect all the sections together. So it's very important for uh, behind the wall over here. So that's awesome. A um, bunch of cheese slopes came in today, um, as well as some more uh, plates and again, some more cheese slopes. Again, this all goes towards the wall. You shall see very soon. Um, but yeah, not too many BrickLink orders. Uh, most of them are international, so that they took two weeks to get here. Um, so definitely a lot more pieces next segment. But we are gonna be building quite a bit even with the pieces we have on hand right here. So without ado, let's see what I do. All right guys, so I've been working pretty hard. Um, basically filled in a little bit more here. Still trying to figure out exactly what to do right here. Uh, because of these columns, um, that's basically what I'm figuring out now. I took the wall off them, as you can kind of see, it's sitting on the uh, the white tiles right there. And I took the, uh, the little triangular pieces that are right there. So in the meantime, I've been just kind of figuring this out and uh, putting together these uh, I don't know what to call them. Just the, the sections where all the Technic pins connect. So these things. So there's one here, 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 and there. <laughs> Quite a bit. Um, I'll go ahead and sit down here. It's that uh, if we got, I don't know if I showed this in the last segment, but that is what the back of the wall looks like. Um, it looks kind of cool actually. Uh, so yeah, no, I've been just kind of figuring all of this out right here. I think what I'm gonna do is these columns, they're just gonna be uh, trashed. I'm gonna restart on the column design because remember we're gonna go with that fork type of design, how it's gonna stick in. That will also mean I'll have to redesign uh, the wall because there'll have to be some things sticking out. So that's something probably we won't do this segment, but next segment. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to start at least a new, new version of the columns and get all this situated over here as well as over here and hopefully we can get a start on building the rock work. And also uh, I'm gonna leave this area, this open area right here, this is gonna stay open in the meantime uh, because the inside I want to work on later. Um, I might wanna maybe make like some type of um, like uh, the, uh, the red uh, crystal mine, maybe have that like underneath the uh, the, um, the transports and stuff like that. So I'm gonna leave this open in the meantime, I'm not gonna close it off right away. So these two base plates or this section right here uh, will stay open in the meantime. But I am going to continue to fill in all of this and this, and we're gonna see 
what all of this looks like. So let's go. All right, guys. So <laughs> this looks like crap, but it does get the point across. This is uh, the different column design. It's not too, too different from this. Um, this is the new column design I came up with. I decided to go with the thicker bricks because these, when it's just one brick uh, wide right here, uh, they're slight warping in terms of it like moving slightly and it's uh, these bricks right here tend to stay better um, I was kind of referencing back to this photo quite a bit these details right here There's no real good way of getting them um, Maybe that's a better accurate representation, but yeah, I was kind of looking back at this and of course I was looking at um, This photo as well how these tracks work right here it's kind of hard to get it. Uh, I wanted, obviously, I would like to bring this up so this is the same where, you know, this would be about here. It'd be the same. However, there's the support system bricks right here on the side that uh, block that. So that can't happen, unfortunately. Um, but I, regardless, I, I still think this will look good. I, uh, it looks really weird because there's no bricks. I've actually... Surprisingly, I've ran out of, uh, of dark gray bricks. I really just don't have many more. I think th those are the last ones right there. If you uh, see them under that, yeah, those. Those are like the last ones that I have around. Um, there's obviously more, <coughs> Kashyyyk, but uh, I'm not sure whether I want to destroy that or not. Um, so, yeah, Kashyyyk still lives, guys. It's just in a giant crate. Ha, ha, still a joke. But anyhow, um, yeah, so that's that's the column design and then also as you can see I filled in most of the area uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this empty part, but that can be something solved later What I do want to do is actually start working on some of the some of the mountain stuff So let's do that and as much as I wanted to get this side done I think it's actually more important if we work on a couple of different variations of the salt pieces So I want to do some mountain work and the salt pieces and we'll probably call it there So let's go ahead and continue working Alright guys, so I've been working pretty hard on the mountain part, and here's what I've come up with. So, as you'll see, I've used a lot of different colors, and I've kind of worked pretty hard on getting this looking pretty natural-ish from the movie, or accurate. Um, so, I'm basically using three different, four different colors, white, light gray, dark red, and red. Um, combining all of them together to get this nice looking mesh of different things going on. So you have obviously the red rocks slash the red dust. Um, you have the, the kind of actual mountain which is going to be light gray. Peeking out the dark red, supposed to be just a darker tone of the red, obviously. And then the white being, of course, the salt uh, just kind of going everywhere. So I think it looks pretty good. Um, I want to hear what you guys think down in the comments below. But so far, this is a pretty great start, actually. I think this looks really fantastic for uh, what I was imagining Crate to look like. Like, this right here just looks so good. Um, I'm loving it, honestly. So this is, this is a good start. I like where this is going. Uh, it, it, this is like bringing me back to Kashyyyk, I swear. It just reminds me of those days. So um, that's kind of funny. Um, Kashyyyk, man, that was, I was building that back in 2014. That's four years ago now. That's insane. But anyhow, definitely a little bit of a reminder of that. But I've, I've definitely learned from Kashyyyk on what to and not to do. Um, so, uh, in terms of like all of this and all of this right here, um, I've definitely figured out how to really master all this. Now you'll see I have the, uh, the, uh, triangular salt pieces, uh, kind of around here. Now I also have some other pieces in between. Um, and as you can see, there is some spaces that still need to be, uh, filled around here and that, that will get filled, uh, over time. It's not really a necessary thing to do right now, honestly. Um, but this is such a great start. I, I did want to put these down here to give you like the effect of what I was thinking of how, uh, this should look. So this is kind of the look right here, what you're seeing right now. This is what I've been kind of imagining in my head. You got the wall here and basically the start of the mountain. So now you guys are kind of getting the complete picture of the concept in my head. So I like where it's going. I think this is going to be a really great start. So I can't wait to continue this. I've already run out of so many pieces. I just need to literally buy a billion bricks. Um, 
because I have a bunch of slopes. That's not the problem. It's the bricks behind it over here um, is the problem. And I do have some colored bricks right here, but not nearly enough of what I'm gonna need. Another thing I'm probably gonna do is this right here. I'm gonna rise it up up to that, probably about this level because by the time these slopes come over and reach to the point where they're gonna be on this plate, um, that'll be up to like maybe this height. So there's no point in actually using all of those bricks to pile onto this when you could just raise that up. It doesn't really make too much sense. And then I might actually put another plate right here at this height, again, to save space. That's what, it, that's what the name of the game is, is saving space um, without using so much Lego. I know a lot of you always say that Duplo bricks are the way to go. I disagree. First off, they're very expensive. They're like 50 cents to a dollar per brick. That's pretty expensive. Um, and and uh, not worth it because sometimes they're just super like gross and really used. And of course they're used by like three year olds. That's not really that great and ideal. But um, yeah, no, this is, this is really great. Honestly, I think this is the highlight of this segment is just this. I think it looks really good. Um, I can't wait to hear what you guys think. Um, I'm really excited for this. Um, I can't wait to continue this upwards. And uh, of course, we're gonna do that on the other side over there as well. Pretty much the same thing, a little bit of a different design, but same kind of idea that we have going on here. So that's exciting. One last thing, we'll quickly put some different uh, designs together for these and we'll go out from there. Okay, so this is our current uh, triangular salt piece shape. Um, and then these are the other kind of shapes that I've made. Uh, first off, this piece right here, the reason why it has uh, gray um, cheese slopes is because I don't have any white ones, at least that I can find. And I really don't want to take them off a, a Lego set, so I'll leave that be. Um, but imagine these being white. Um, so I've created uh, seven, is that what it is? Yes, no, eight, eight, eight different uh, pieces, um, excluding this one, of course. And uh, I have already, mentally, I've already narrowed it down to this one and this one. Um, this one's okay, but the problem with this one is that there's so many little pieces that it's not even worth it. Um, just for the, I mean, the difference is so little between this one and this one. It's not worth paying so much more for buy so many little pieces just for that. Um, so in my mind, I would take all of these out over and leave these two because they work. You want them to all work together. Um, they almost look like they're all kind of in the same family, but they're obviously different. And you can see how they would work pretty well together like that. Um, so, it, it, I like this one particularly because it's basically just a mini version of this one. Um, I think I think that works pretty well. I don't know. What do you guys think? So here's how we're gonna uh, we're gonna do this in the comments. So this is number one and this is number two. Um, I don't even really want to count these and as a vote. I just don't like any of them to be honest. I don't even want to count them. Even if you guys do like them, I just personally don't. Um, so. Do you think one and two should be included with our original piece or just one or just two or both? So let me know down in the comments. Uh, what do you guys think of these variations? Um, I'm okay about this one. It, it kind of, it's because uh, of the way the actually using other top slope pieces, you get, you get, you kind of want to keep that triangular shape as much as possible. And this one kind of keeps it. You want to kind of keep three ish lines. This one, you're kind of, borderline on the fourth line. This one is like you're curving. You so say you have these two lines right here and then this line right here, it just almost feels like it's right in a fourth one. It's looking a little more squarish in a way. So that's, I'm a little on, on this. I might, I do like this one. This one I might consider. Um, so yeah, let me know one, one or two uh, down below or both or none or none. I actually personally just I'm still on the side of just using this piece. I know a lot of you say that I should have variation, but uh, I still think that this is the supreme piece. This just works so well. Now I have so many and I've put them together. Like the, sh uh, the way the shape works just for some odd reason works so well when you put them together. So I don't know. I'll let you guys know down uh, next week about you know what I wanna do with these, but uh, let me know down in the comments on your thoughts. That's gonna be it guys. So we'll go ahead and end out the video from here. All right guys, so that was the video. 
absolutely love that rock work. I love it. I think it looks fantastic, and I hope you guys think the same. Um, now, the whole mountain is not going to have that red and dark red continue all the way upwards. It's just kind of at that beginning part, and it'll fade off as we continue to build upwards. Um, in terms of next week, increasing the mountain, as much as I'd love to do that, um, it's, it's just a constant struggle. It's like every time I start building something, it's like I need more parts. It's just like build, build, build parts, build, build, build parts. I mean, that's kind of how it was for Kashyyyk for at least a couple weeks. I think when I was first starting off that mock, Scarf was similar. Um, but it hasn't been that, it feels like that every single time for Crate that I just need to, I constantly, it's like I can only build to a certain amount because of the part limit that I have. Um, now, of course, I could go back. I still have Scarif. It is stored away in my garage. It's in these big plastic bins, perfectly intact. I haven't touched it at all. I could rebuild it exactly the way you guys uh, last saw it. And same goes with Kashyyyk, except uh, the front beach of Kashyyyk and that, uh, I guess, the greenery area, that has all been destroyed. But the two trees and the whole back section of Kashyyyk still exist. Um, all of it that is still also in a garage. Um, and I could go out there and destroy all of that and I'd have a pretty good amount of pieces. Not everything I would need, but pretty close to a, a, enough parts so I wouldn't have to be this constant struggle of, okay, I've, I, I've reached, you know, I've used all my parts now, now I gotta go get more, so on and so forth. But I'm just not quite ready to destroy those mocks. Uh, especially Scarif, I don't think that's necessary to destroy because it doesn't have that many bricks that would be useful for crates. Um, Kashyyyk, on the other hand, there's a lot of bricks in Kashyyyk. Um, so that would be the one to go. And it's just like, I thought I could do it. I thought I could go out there and destroy it. I was planning on doing that a couple weeks ago, but it just, I don't know, for some reason I just can't find the will to destroy it. It's probably because I spent, you know, two, three years working on that. It kind of hurts to just, you know, throw it all away. Now I understand it's going towards a bigger, better mock, but you know, I still really worked hard on Kashyyyk and it just hurts to have to uh, destroy that. Now, granted, I'll still have the trees of Kashyyyk. I don't plan on destroying those, but um, I feel like that back section was one of the coolest parts of the model. I mean, the trees were pretty cool, but I don't know. That's, that's a dilemma. I could easily probably get a lot of the parts I would need to really build a lot more for uh, crate and um, if I destroyed the Kashyyyk model I'm just not sure whether I want to do that yet or not I feel like it'll probably eventually come to that but right now I'm gonna try to just keep on just buying parts as it as it goes and I'm sure a lot of you why don't you just buy a bulk amount of parts it's mainly because of money because of that I can't just go out and spend like two thousand dollars on an abundant amount of bricks so that way I wouldn't have to constantly reorder it's kind of just as I get money, I spend that on Lego. It's it's not like I have a giant sum of savings specifically for Crate. Um, so that's also part of the reason why I can't just have an abundant amount just on hand. Now, granted, I do have a lot of Lego on hand, but it's usually different pieces and it's not like bricks usually. That's the thing is like, I always need bricks. That's like the one thing I need an abundant amount. And it really sucks that Lego, they have these really cool like lug programs and stuff uh, for the community. And they just, they're very specific about who can use those programs to get a bulk amount of parts for giant models. Um, usually you have to be part of a lug and there's no lug in my area or even, I think like the closest lug to me is like three. And a lug, by the way, if you're wondering what I'm saying there, it's a Lego users group. It's basically just a community of fans. Um, they have access to these bulk amount of parts at really cheap prices, um, which is ideal for me, but uh, they only offer that to the, to the lug groups. And I think some other people, if you are like really close with the company, I have, you know, some ties with Lego, but not that point, not to that point, unfortunately. Um, so that just makes this only that much harder. Uh, other people in the community have access to that service, which sucks. But again, that, this is just me kind of rambling about how annoying it can be to get a lot of parts, basically. So yeah, I apologize for those of you who want to see me constantly want to build, you know, giant things every single segment. Trust me, I want to do that. I really do. Like you have no idea. I want to like build, build, build for hours. But it really it, it, it just comes down to the fact of how many uh, how much parts I can get with the money that I have and 
that varies month to month. Um, and it just, it sucks, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely one of the downsides when you're building such giant mocks is that, but um, I try to work with it. So we shall see in the future. I have no idea. I'm gonna try to continue to buy more bricks. That seems like the one thing I'm gonna need a lot of for crate because I need bricks for the mountain part. I need bricks to build up the behind the wall there. I need bricks to build up everything around the, the mountain that behind it, that's gonna be like a big cave system. I need bricks to raise up all those platforms for the entire battlefield. I need bricks to go around all of these trenches and such. Like you can just see that's kind of the big thing I need. Um, so that's, that's, that's what I gotta really like buy a humongous, like we're talking like trash bags full of just nothing but Lego bricks. Um, so yeah, that, that is uh, the challenge. All right, well, that's it. That, that's it for this video. I'm sorry to ramble here at the end about that. Uh, didn't mean anything by that, but um, that's gonna be it, guys. So let me know on which uh, triangular pieces you uh, chose down in the comments below. Also, again, I really do apologize. I wanted to build more this segment. Uh, hopefully I built enough to satisfy most of you, but if you felt like I didn't do enough, that is, I just kind of rambled why. So uh, that's gonna be it, guys. So I'll see you guys in week 10. Man, wow, already onto the big two digits. All right, that's it guys. Hope you have a great and wonderful day. Bye-bye.